Uh, here's a quick tip I stumbled upon. I was going to compose an email on my phone, and as I thought about who I needed to include in the mail, I discovered a screen I had never seen before. If you long press on the Compose icon, the square with the diagonal line in the bottom right-hand corner, it will open up your saved drafts, so you can quickly hop back into a partially completed email. I usually write my drafts in Notes or the iOS app Drafts. This quick access is enough for me to rethink my workflow. And yeah, sure enough, um, for those that are wondering, how do you get a draft? Um, if you start composing an email and you abandon it, <clears throat> you'll, uh, I think on pretty much any platform, you'll get a, um, a dialogue saying, hey, you wanna save this draft? And if you say yes, it puts it in your drafts folder, which you may also notice if you look in your mail client. So uh, that's neat, and actually I did this, um, and I had a draft that was probably like five years old that I had totally <laughs> forgot about. So I'm thinking I shouldn't go look because it'll be like, wait, that whole thing about that deal. I sent that. No wonder mm -hmm. I never got that. Response. I have probably a hundred drafts out here. So I'm going to go ahead and, and take a look at those uh, this weekend. And yeah. I'm, I might or might not choose to do it with a cocktail on the other hand, because I'm sure there's going to be a few in there where it's like, oh, this is going to hurt. <laughs> I, I could be mistaken, but I think if you abandon an email on iOS, you don't yeah. even get that dialogue. It, but it automatically saves every yeah. so often into a draft. Oh. All right. Yeah. Yeah. I think I, my guess is that most, and my hope is that all of these emails that I find in there are going to be like those things where it's like it it started, it got put in drafts, and then another version of it got sent out. So that's that's fingers are crossed. Right. 